What is good everybody today we are diving into a top 10 video a top 10 video that I've been wanting to do and I meant to do this the week that I returned from San Diego Comic Con but with everything going on a ton of shish happening in life I did not get the video out man didn't get the video out but I figured today could be the day man we're going to be diving into my personal top 10 favorite reveals from WWE San Diego Comic Con 2024 it wasn't WWE San Diego Comic Con I don't really know why I added that from San Diego Comic Con 2024 we're going to dive into my top 10 favorite reveals of the entire week there. I was there in person. Again, you don't really get to digest everything when you're there because there's so much going on and I'm running around making videos or filming things and all that different jazz that you don't always get to see everything until you get back home. And again, I meant to make this video and I even had the top 10 written down. Never made the damn video, man. So today, man, we're going to be diving into it. I'm going to dive into my personal top 10 favorite reveals and I'm going to shut the hell up and get into it. Now again, all the things that come down to this top 10 is just going to be excitement level for the figure, you know, maybe a surprise here and there, things that I didn't see coming. Those things usually go higher on the list rather than something I knew was on the horizon or something like that. But we're going to dive into it, man. We're going to dive into everything. And again, if something if we knew about something or we saw something, it's probably going to be lower on the list or it may not be on the list at all compared to something that maybe was a complete surprise itself. But let's shut the hell up. Nonetheless, let's get into it, man. Let's start things off with my honorable mention. I do have one honorable mention figure that I want to talk about. And that is going to be the Build-A-Figure Howard Finkel. I did not see this figure coming and I actually fantasy booked this while standing in line at San Diego Comic Con. I was standing there and I was kind of thinking to myself, you know, just waiting for the convention doors to open. And I was like, you know what would be really cool is if they redid Howard Finkel and gave him double jointed arms and stuff. And bam, there it was. So I was like, hell yeah, that was, that popped me pretty good. I wanted to throw that in there. Love Fink. Love this figure. think it's a great piece. Hopefully I'll be able to build multiple just to have guys in bow ties. You guys know I'm a bow tie guy. So, but that is my honorable mention is Fink. Now next up, Getting into the top 10, number 10 is going to be the Rick Rude. I'm not really being specific on the the different one. I, I really don't care which one it is. I really do like the United States gear, but I'll take either or. But this figure was really sweet, but what really popped me about this figure in general is going to be the retooled world title. I think this is such an addition to the line and something that's been needed for so many years now. And that they finally did it, it, it just threw me over the top. Yeah, I had to include this in my top 10. I know my top 10 is probably going to be a little different than other people's just because I get excited for just like newly tooled things and like things that, you know, not certain characters all the time. I'm talking about just really cool additions to the line in terms of you know, upgrading the line, like the boots and all these different things that they're improving. This is one of those things that I just thought was so bad, A, eh? and just, it just was so awesome, man. So we have the World Championship retooling Rick Rude figure, and the Rick Rude looks amazing, and I thought his ultimate was so good, so this one also popped me pretty good. This is my number 10 figure. Coming in at number 9, I went with the Elite 114 Jimmy Uso. Now, I know this is not going to be everybody's favorite figure, and honestly, kind of a plain Jane football figure right here, man. Not a ton going on with this figure. However, when you dive into it, this is going to be a perfect jogger mold for multiple characters moving forward. So I'm already thinking of leg swaps and doing different customs and fix-ups on surgery. And I'm hoping that this will be one of those figures that will be easy to do that with and, you know, all those different things. I like the shoes here that they're using from the Survivor Series CM Punk that we have coming soon. This is a great-looking figure, not just a Jimmy Uso, but you can make multiple guys out of this. And I just love this leg mold so much and this improvement of the figure that I had to include this in the top 10. And I like Jimmy Uso. So I like this this representation of Jimmy Uso, but this was my number my number nine figure just because of those reasons. I can't wait to fix this guy up and customize him. Coming in at number eight, I went with the Finn Balor Ultimate Edition. Now this obviously is probably a given. You probably clicked on this video thinking this would be number five or in the top five at least. But for me, I was disappointed with it. We've gone into the lore of why it's kind of disappointing for me. Two repeat head sculpts, only one brand new head sculpt. It does have a longer, thicker beard, but it's a smiling head sculpt, which kind of pisses me off a little bit, especially for a Judgment Day character. I do like other things going on, though. I like the newly the newly sculpted torso. I love the interchangeable arms that feature all of his tattoos and then the sleeves, so you can do either or there, which I really appreciate. And I'm hoping that this guy just has a really cool formula and doesn't look tiny. But I, I kind of am skeptical about the figure, which is why he's so high on the list. I put him at 8. I, You know, I'm still hyped for the figure. I'm excited for the figure because I'm a Finn Balor fan. But at the same time... I do have my, you know, my reservations about this figure, which we'll have to see. That's why it comes in at number eight and not any higher. Coming in at number seven, this may shock some people, but I went with the Booker T Chase Elite right here, which is so damn beautiful. This is actually a version of Booker T I've been waiting on for a while. I know a lot of people are annoyed. It's another Monday Night Wars figure of Booker T, but at least, you know, we, we hadn't had a Harlem Heat figure for a long time, then they finally give us Harlem Heat in Elite Series 3 of the Monday Night Wars. Then he was the Chase. You got two sets of Harlem Heat right 
right there. And then, you know, a series or two later, they're coming out with this version of Booker T. But I've been wanting a singles version or this sort of version of Booker T here in the white attire with the red boots for years and years. So finally getting this right here popped me really hard. I, I did not expect this at all. And that is why it's probably so high is because, you know, we really didn't know anything about it. And again, when they drop things on us out of nowhere that I don't even know about or that, you know, wasn't on the pipeline, wasn't in the rumor mill, wasn't on anything like that. It, it gets me going, man. It gets me excited. So I think this Booker T looks phenomenal, and I'm more excited for the Chase than the regular edition, but you could throw both up there if you wanted to. Coming in at number six, we're almost to the top five. I'm going with the Ultimate Edition Punk, the ringside exclusive. This is kind of obvious. I mean, I don't know who isn't hyped for this figure. I know I talked about some of the head sculpts I'm not a big fan of, but they pretty much fantasy booked this to a T. You know, when we were kind of talking about them doing a Money in the Bank CM Punk, they made it exactly how I envisioned it, and that is such an upgrade. That's so awesome. I, I think I even messaged the Mattel team when he when he walked through the curtain. and When I fantasy booked this figure in my head, they made it exactly like that. Blowing Kiss had all those different things. There's, I mean, dude, this is even going to include the shirt. It's going to be one of the best Ultimates of the year, if not the best Ultimate of the year, even if it comes out in 2025. You must not be on planet Earth if you're not excited for this, this figure right here, man. But let's move on to our top five. Number five is going to be the Kurt Angle figure right here, man. The Legends Kurt Angle. This figure, oh my God in heaven, man. We've been waiting on this one for a very long time. A wrestling machine or a, you know, ruthless aggression, later ruthless aggression era of Kurt Angle right here is so beautiful. Something we've waited on forever. Not the biggest fan of the formula, but I'm just hoping that the head sculpt's really good and it formulates nice and it looks good and everything like that. It's not a perfect figure by any stretch, but just getting this version of Kurt into the line. Hopefully we'll get an ultimate edition of some kind, but I'll take what we get right here. I'm also hoping that this figure will drop down to clear like every other Legends figure to target. That way we can pick up multiples of this figure. You guys know I'm a massive Kurt Angle guy. So just having this figure, having this head sculpt, I know I'm still waiting on the, the specific boots from 2001 to be inside the line. Hopefully we'll get that soon, but... I'll take a W right here, man. This is absolutely incredible. Cannot wait for this figure. I was, I this shocked me. This shocked me because we've we fantasy booked it for so long and they never gave it to us and they finally did. So that really, you know what I'm saying. This this really got me going. All right, man. We're moving on to number four. Number four is going to be ringside exclusive from the vault. SES Punk. Now this is a figure that I've always wanted in the collection. It's one that I've never owned, and I'm more excited. I'm not like I love the SES Punk and I love this version of the character. But for me, I'm more excited about the fix ups I'm going to be able to make with these camo trunks. I'm hoping that I'm able to get a few of these so that I can fix up a couple and do some different cool things with it and hopefully that'll be something that we can do on surgery. I plan on making some cool tires and fix ups using this punk and that's really what I'm most excited about but just getting this figure finally, getting it back in the line just as as a Mattel WWE action figure collector it's really cool to see stuff like this happen at least for me. I think it looks awesome and is really awesome so that is just I don't know just the kind of this moment being recreated in this kind of uh, the lore around this figure and everything that, that kind of happens around this figure and that resulting in a re-release here at San Diego Comic-Con and being there in person to see it was really cool and that's why it's at number four. I, I mean, I'm excited for the figure, but that really, that was such a cool moment, honestly, as just a collector in general. Coming in at number three, we have the Royal Rumble Elite Cody. Now, I, we kind of knew about this figure, right? We kind of talked about it. We played around with it. We kind of knew this figure was going to be coming, but to be there in person, front row, to see him wear this gear, win the Royal Rumble, all those different things, and then going on to WrestleMania to see him lose, then going back to the Royal Rumble this year and seeing him win the Rumble again, and then going to WrestleMania 40 again and seeing him in person win the championship kind of embodies the story for me a little bit, right? It's kind of, uh, I was there for all those moments in person to see Cody do this, and that's kind of what is embodied in this action figure, which is really cool. Not to mention, I love the gear, and not to mention the head sculpt itself is the Defining Moments head sculpt. So they finally are using the good Cody Rhodes head sculpt. I know it still has a tattoo on the jaw, which I will be fixing all those things, but that is such a cool figure and one that I wanted for a really long time. Again, not just because it's a really cool gear, but all the things that I already mentioned. So I think that is awesome. Love to see this Royal Rumble Cody. I'm very glad to have it, and to add it to the collection, I was happy to see this as a reveal at San Diego Comic-Con. Even though, again, we kind of knew it was coming, I still popped really hard and am most excited for this figure 
gear right here. Coming in at number two is going to be WrestleMania 39, Seth Rollins in the pink gear. Another matchup I was in person for. And this is one that came out of left field. Had no idea we're going to be getting a Mania 39 Rollins. I know it doesn't include any of the entrance gear, but how cool is this figure? Not because of the colors and everything. I mean, it's a pink gear. You guys know I like the color pink and all those different things. But just the tooling on this figure looks amazing. It's so toyetic. It's such a badass piece. I mean, you got to have this in the collection. This looks incredible as a Seth Rollins. This is probably one of the best Seth Rollins action figures ever made. And as a big Seth Rollins guy, this figure looks really, really awesome. I cannot wait for this one. I just love the pink. The pink looks so good. I think it's amazing. And I think this is going to be one that uh, is going to be a buy every time. It's just that nice of a figure. And I didn't see it coming, man. I just did not expect that, especially when you have these newly tooled legs that are probably never going to be retooled. They're not going to reuse these legs. I don't know how you'd really use these legs at all. So it's just a very cool moment in time. I think this figure looks phenomenal. And it came in at number two. But my number one figure reveal or number one reveal from San Diego Comic-Con 2024, that is going to go to the Target exclusive Evolution Elite 3 pack. This right here is so damn good and there's a lot of different things here. Now it's not a perfect set by any means but just the fact that they went for this and they gave us an Evolution box set. I think it would be cooler if it was all four members of Evolution. Flair, Orton, Batista, Triple H and they all had new suited molds or something you know like open collar with no tie and they did all these cool things with it. That would have really been the you know just the peak but I think that this is such a cool set. You have the unique moment of them turning on Randy Orton after he retains the title on Raw you have the really cool attire for Randy Orton, the unique head sculpts where he's shocked, where he's, you know, smiling. You have messy hair Batista and a really cool attire that you could fix up. You have the newly sculpted boots on Batista, which is really cool, and the maroon as well. I know Triple H in the cloth suit is not something people wanted to see, but after he, you know, drops Orton, after Batista, like, you know, uh, electric chair or whatever, drops Randy Orton on his back... Triple H takes his suit off and, you know, they beat the hell out of him. So it is, you know, they wanted to make it where the suit could be removable for the moment, which I understand. And Triple H has a unique torso. There's different things you can do here. There's just a lot going on with this set that I love so much. And Evolution being probably my favorite faction of all time. And then you have just the, I've talked about the Evolution storyline and how much I loved that as a kid growing up and watching that happen from the beginning to end. It was one of my favorite wrestling storylines ever. And I just like the whole culmination of it, how evil they were, just the satisfactory of their downfall and all that stuff kind of embodied into this pack. I just love this, man. This is a great nostalgic pack for me. I think it looks amazing. And that is why the Evolution set comes in at number one. I'm just very hyped for this set. Cannot wait to review it. Can't wait to find it. And I imagine this is going to be in our hands within the next couple months. So I imagine, you know, by fall, this should be hitting and I cannot wait to get it. And it should be a great one, man. But that was my top 10. Top 10 WWE action figure reveals from San Diego Comic-Con. It was amazing to be there in person. I plan on going back next year, obviously, for San Diego Comic-Con 2025. And I can't wait to see those again. But again, I had this, I legitimately had this written down. And then I forgot about it and forgot to come back to it like a clown. So I do apologize for that. But at least we got the video out now. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And I'd love to know what your favorite reveal was or what your top 10 was or things that you liked. Or maybe you're shocked by my top 10, whatever the hell it is, man. You can let me know all those different things. But anyways, that is pretty much going to wrap up my top 10 San Diego Comic-Con WWE action figure reveals of 2024. But a huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you, fellas. Thank you guys so very much again for all of your support. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do. But I'm getting the hell out. I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.